I'm Ella, and today on Ellie News, we'll have lunch, teacher spotlight, kids on the street, career spotlight, weather, animal corner, in the kitchen, geography spotlight, election day, and a fall craft. Election day by Lily Garcia. What is election day? Election day is a day to pick the next president. It happens every four years. This election day, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are competing. Who will you vote for? A little bit about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris was born in Oakland, California. She is five feet four inches tall. Kamala Harris, if she wins, will be will be the first female president ever in the USA. A little bit about Donald Trump. He was born on June 14, 1946. He is six feet three inches tall. Donald Trump served as, pres as the 45th president and tried to serve again, but he lost to Joe Biden. And today I'll be making a jack-o'-lantern. You'll need a sharpie, tape, scissors, orange paper, a piece of black or green paper. So first, you can draw any face of a jack-o'-lantern you want. You can color the inside black if you want to. Next, you take the orange paper that you drew the face on and you fold it in half. Now you get your pair of scissors and you start cutting it like I am. It should look like this, and when you open it, it should look like this. So, now you take a piece of tape, a piece of tape, and, I'm going to eat, and you roll your lantern. Take your piece of tape, and, and then... Put it on the edge of your lantern. You need more than one piece of tape. Now we have like we have the face and and the part of and one part of the lantern done. So now you take your black or green paper and you can cut one strip. Take your jack-o'-lantern, decide how you want it, and then you get a piece of tape again and, but, and tape one side of the strip on your lantern. Take the other side of the strip to the lantern. And now your Jack O lantern is done. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello. This is the LLE News lunch menu for November by Georgia Freed Jones. Monday, November 4th, we will have pizza, cheesy breadsticks, and salad. Tuesday, November 5th. No school due to parent-teacher conference day and election day. Go out for lunch. I recommend Scotty's Bar and Grill in Fresco. Wednesday, November 6th. We will have popcorn chicken, Demarest Deli Heroes, turkey or Italian, tater tots, and veggies. Thursday, November 7th. Hope you have a good day at school. Just kidding. There is no school because of the NJEA convention. Get in the kitchen and make your own lunch. Friday, November 8th.
Just kidding, you have Friday off too. Support your local pizza parlor. Every day you can have your choice of milk, juice, or water. Remember, if you don't like what's on the menu, you can always get a bagel or cereal. Thank you. Bye! Hi, I'm Ayla Garces, and today I'm going to interview Miss Wilma. What's your favorite candy? Oh, uh, so it's a weird one. I love um, Almond Joys. Do you know what those are? Yeah. Yeah? The coconut, yeah. almond, chocolate. It's like yeah. three wonderful things put together. What's your least favorite? Um, like a plain chocolate bar, like a Hershey's bar, I guess. What was your costume for Halloween? We were referees, football referees, the whole fourth grade team. What is your favorite project that your students did? Ever? Yeah. Oh, um, I love the economics unit that we do because everyone gets to create their own business and their own product and the kids have a lot of fun with that. So we do that in the springtime. Do you have any pets? I do. I have a dog, Mr. Bo. His name is Bo Hunter Forma, and he's a Bernadoodle. He's five years old. Um, do you think children deserve homework? Not a lot of homework. I think that kids work really hard during the day, so maybe some reading, a little math review, but then they should be playing and having fun after school. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Do you sing in the car while driving? I do, actually. I love please, singing. Can you please sing us a Um, No. <laughs> My vocals aren't warmed up. I generally like a little cup of tea and some lemon. And this is the last question. Do you have a favorite sport or hobby? If so, what is it? Mm, I love making crafts. So that's, I think that's old news though. Everyone knows I like to make different things. So that's probably one of my hobbies. But um, in terms of sports, I like going to the gym every day. So that's fun. That's it for Teacher Spotlight. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, my name is Aeson, and today I will be telling you the weather for, for this week. For Monday, no, Monday, November 4th, it'll be cloudy with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. On Tuesday, November 5th, it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 70 degrees and a low of 59 degrees. On Wednesday, November 6th, it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 74 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. On Thursday, November 7th, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 63 degrees and a low of 45 degrees. On Friday, November 8th, it'll be sunny with a high of 57 degrees and a low of 41 degrees. On Saturday, November 9th, it'll, there will be showers with a high of 57 degrees and a low of 39 degrees. On Sunday, November 10th, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 57 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Cole, did you have fun trick-or-treating? Yes, did you? Of course. Did you get a lot of candy? So much, did you? A ton. What was your favorite candy? Twix, what was yours? Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Let's, Let's go, go ask some, some kids on the tree what, what their favorite, favorite candy, candy is. My name is Connor. What's your name? Sam. What's your favorite candy? Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. What do you think the most popular candy is? Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. That's correct. Thank you. Bye. I'm Cole. What's your name? Luke. What was the best candy you've ever gotten from Halloween? Kit Kat. What is the grossest candy you got? You think in Milky Way? Thank you. Bye. My name is Connor. What's your name? Ella. What's your favorite candy? Nerds. What do you think the most popular candy is? Skittles. Ah, uh, that's wrong. It's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Bye. Hi, I'm Cole. What's your name? Joby. What is the best candy you've ever gotten from Halloween? Probably a Crunch Bar. What is the grossest candy you've gotten from Halloween? A Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name's Cole. What's your name? Blake. Uh, what is the grossest candy you've ever gotten from Halloween? Mmm. 
that candy that's open. What is the best candy you've gotten from Halloween? Dots. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Connor. What's your name? Ariana. What is your favorite candy? Um, I like Sour Patch Kids. What do you think the most popular candy is? Sour Patch Kids. That was close, but it's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Shane. On this week's Geography Spotlight, we'll be learning about Barcelona, Spain. Sagrada Familia. It is the 46th biggest church in the world ever to be built. The building process began on March 19, 1882. The projected time for it to be finished is in 2026. Currently, eight of the 18 towers have been completed. Each tower's height will represent a religious theme. Amazingly, it is still not finished and people are still studying the, the blueprints of the church to finish it. It is not finished due to many delays. Park Well. The original design of the park was inspired by nature. The creator of the park, Anthony Gaudi, and he created Sagrada Familia. He created a house on the property so he could sleep and live there. It was built from the 1900s to 1914 and was officially opened as a park in 1926. It was originally envisioned as a modern housing estate. Here are some pictures of me in Barcelona. To the left is me and my sister on the streets of Barcelona, and to the right is me and my dad at Parkwell. I hope you enjoyed learning about Barcelona. Bye. Hi, my name is Andres. Welcome to Ellie Animal Corner. Fun facts about the bobcat. Its scientific name is Lynx rufus. The average lifespan in the wild is 10 to 12 years. A bobcat is a mammal. The diet, mostly carnivorous, consists of a variety of animals such as rabbits, rodents, wood rats, porcupines, raccoons, deer, fawns, birds, amphibians, reptiles, and insects. They will stalk or ambush their prey from the ground, trees, logs, or rocks. Head and body size, about 26 to 41 inches. Tail size, about 40 to 7 inches. Weight, about 11 to 30 pounds. Habitat. Bobcats are very adaptable and can live in a wide variety of habitats, including burrow conference. That means a forest that consists of pines, spruces, and larches, and forests in the north, bottomland forests, and coastal swamps in the southeast, and desert and scrublands in the southwest. Behavior. They are secretive, shy, solitary, and seldom seen in the wild. They are active during, during the day, but prefer twilight, dawn, or night hours. Here are some photos of the bobcat. Thank you for watching LLE News Animal Corner. Did you know that on this day in music history, country star singer Shania Twain released her record-breaking crossover hit, Come On Over, in 1997. She was 32 years old, started her singing career at, eight, at age 27, and is now 59. Thanks for watching this week's LLE News. Bye!